so hello and very good morning dear students in the last lecture we have seen some basic concepts of matrices now in the second part we will be going to continue with the questions in the last lecture we have done up to question number 8 now we will start with the ninth question and in this video we will do we will understand that how to multiply two matrices okay so this video going to be very important for you okay uh, let's start with uh, the ninth question okay uh, it's given a plus b is equal to minus 7493 b a minus b is 2002 we need to find the value of a and b okay so uh, let's start with how we will find okay if you can see that these two uh, th uh, these two given things can be considered as two equations okay so uh, we can consider this as the first equation and this as the second equation can we see this to as a linear equations they are in two variables that is a and b so let's uh, use the elimination method so in the solution you have to write properly using elimination method okay here it will be minus because plus so minus here minus plus and this is positive matrix so minus here okay a minus a will be cancelled plus of b plus of b you will get to b okay minus so you need to subtract these two matrix so minus 7 minus 2 minus of 9 4 minus 0 4 9 minus 0 9 3 2 1 okay you got uh, 2b now this is 2 into b so b will be equal to <coughs> 1 upon 2 Minus nine four nine one. Now take this half inside, so it will be multiplied with all the elements. So it will be minus nine by two. Four by two will give you one. So just four by two, then nine by two, and one by two. Okay, you can write this four by two as two. So this is your B. Now how you will find A matrix? Put the value of B matrix in the first equation. So A plus B matrix is what? Minus nine upon two, two, nine upon two, and one upon two equal to minus seven, four, nine, three. Now take this plus of matrix that side. So it will be minus. So A matrix will be minus nine by two, two, nine by two, one by two. Minus minus seven four nine three. Okay, subtract them. Minus nine by two minus minus plus. So minus nine by two plus seven minus nine plus fourteen by two. My forty uh, minus nine. You will get five as our answer. So five by two. So <clears throat> five by two. Two minus four. You will get minus two. Nine by two minus nine. You will get nine by two only. Okay, half minus three, half minus three will get minus of five by two. So this is the answer. I hope the question is clear to you. Okay. Okay. Now let's come to the eleventh question. Tenth question. See, <clears throat> you have to find. You are given with three matrices. You have to find a minus b plus two c, which you can easily find, and prove that a plus b plus c is equal to a plus bracket b plus c so you just find how you will prove the the second question see you are asked to find actually they are same only they are just associative property there so what you do you take lhs first you find a plus b and then add it with c and keep it then you take rhs so you write taking rhs first you find b plus c then add it with a you will see both the solutions both the results will be same so hence proved okay that's it you have to do okay uh, let's come to the 11th question see in this they have introduced the trigonometric ratios here you have all such type of angles and you know the value because in ninth class in the trigonometry we have done how to find the value so a matrix is sin 90 so as of i know the values but you have to keep in mind the uh, or you can just make the trigonometric table there okay so sin 30 is 1 upon 2 okay this is minus 1 upon 2 cos 45 is 1 upon root 
माइनस ऑफ वन ओके देन बी मैट्रिक्स इज माइनस ऑफ कॉस सिक्सटी सो दिस इज माइनस वन अपॉन टू ओके एंड कॉसिक थर्टी इज टू रूट थ्री इंटू टेन थर्टी इज वन अपॉन रूट थ्री एंड कॉट फोर्टी फाइव इज वन ओके सो जिस सॉल्व इट गेट इट इन टू द सिंप्लीफाइड फॉर्म इफ यू आर एबल टू सो इट्स हाउ रूट टू विथ रूट टू कैंसल माइनस वन टू वन एंड दिस विल गिव यू माइनस ऑफ हाफ टू हियर इट विल बी कैंसल वन एंड वन ओके नाउ वॉट दे आर आस्किंग टू फाइंड ए प्लस बी सो एट दैन थ्री ए प्लस फोर बी कैन यू डू थ्री ए प्लस फोर बी सो हाउ थ्री ए प्लस फोर बी मल्टीप्लाई थ्री इन साइड इन दिस एंड फोर बी विद दिस एंड एट दैम ओके एंड हियर ऑल्सो टू टाइम्स ऑफ ए सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मल्टीप्लाई विथ टू एंड थ्री मल्टीप्लाई विथ थ्री एंड देन सब ट्रैक्ट ओके सो जस्ट this trigonometric number uh, uh, angles you only have to just put otherwise the things are same okay okay so uh, see the more you do the questions the more will be easy this chapter will become for you okay so that is what uh, i'm telling you this chapter is really very scoring so the more you do the question you will be very comfortable in this chapter okay so uh, let's start with the next topic that is multiplication of matrices as i told you that uh, addition subtraction is very easy to do but multiplication has some different criteria okay so uh, let's understand the how to multiply two matrices okay so uh, i uh, first we need to understand some conditions actually okay because no that means there is some criteria behind multiplying the two matrix you cannot multiply any of the two random matrix there should be a proper uh, there is a proper criteria actually okay so uh, say for example i am taking one matrix okay i am not writing the elements and one more matrix i am taking okay so what the condition says to multiply two matrix that uh, say for example i am writing row cross column order of this matrix and order of this matrix r1 c1 r2 c2 okay so what condition says that this is the first matrix and this is the second matrix so the column of the first matrix should be equal to the row of the second matrix i repeat column of the first matrix should be equal to row of the second matrix then only you can multiply two matrix okay that means c1 should be equal to r2 okay now just we can take one example say for example i have a matrix of order 2 cross 3 i want to multiply this matrix with 3 cross 1 so the multiplication of these two matrix is possible why because the column of this matrix is equal to the row of this matrix that is why the multiplication is possible okay so multiplication of matrices column of the first matrix should be equal to the row of the second matrix now in this you know after multiplying these two matrix you will get a matrix of some different order now how can you just uh, uh, pre decide that what will be the order of the resultant matrix so it is nothing but the left one 2 cross 1 so after multiplying these two matrix you will get a resultant matrix of 2 cross 1 i hope the things are getting clear to you okay one question to all of you that you have to answer this question along with the homework you send okay and my question is uh if you have a matrix of order 3 cross 
1 and you have another matrix of order 1 cross 2. So you have to tell me whether these two matrices, multiplication of these two matrices is possible or not and also what will be the resultant matrix after multiplying these two. Okay. So this will be the homework for you. Now, how the two matrices are multiplied. Please understand this criteria, okay? This is very important, okay? I'm taking 1, 2, 3, 4, and here minus 1, 0, 2, 4. Say, for example, these two matrix I'm taking. What is the order of this matrix? 2 cross 2. What is the order of this matrix? 2 cross 2. Is the multiplication possible? The answer is yes, because column of the first matrix is equal to the row of the second matrix. And our answer will come in 2 cross 2 order, okay? So, let me just draw the structure for 2 cross 2. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. I need to fill how many positions? 4 positions. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, if I ask you what will be the what will be this position? So this is 1 1 position, this is 1 2 position, this is 2 1 position and this is 2 2 position. I hope you are getting this because in the previous lecture we have seen the uh, positions of a matrix. So this is 1 1 position. So how you have to multiply, uh, see this one is for the row and this one is for the column. Okay, in this this one is for the row and this one is for the column. So the first matrix and the second matrix you have to work with R and in the second matrix you only have to work with C. How? Okay. How it is uh, I'm, I'm saying. So first row, first column. We need to multiply and add. How? See, first row and first column because this is 1, 1 position. So, 1 into minus 1 plus 2 into 2. Okay. This is the 1, 1 position. This is how we filled 1, 1 position. Okay. Understand how 1, 2 position. 1 means the first row. Okay. This first means this first one means the first row and second means the second column. Okay. So now you have to take second column. So first row and second column 1 into 0 plus 2 into 4. Are you getting? Okay. Now let's come to the third position which is 2 1. So 2 1 means now second row and the first column. So 3 into minus 1 plus 4 into 2. That is how you will get a 2 1 position. Now this 2 2 can you make can you make it out 2 and 2. So 3 zeros are 0 and 4 fours are 16. Now you need to calculate okay minus 1 plus 4 0 plus 8 minus 3 plus 8 and 0 plus 16 okay so minus 1 plus 4 is what 3 0 plus 8 is what 8 8 minus 5, 3 5 and 0 plus 16 16 so this is the answer on multiplying these two matrix we got this as an answer and it is of order 2 cross 2. So, it's correct. I hope this example is clear to you. Okay. Let's take one question. Okay. Uh, then, th this thing will be more clear to us. Okay. So, here, 12th question we are taking. We are given with A matrix, B matrix and we have to find AB and BA if possible. Why they are writing if possible? They are asking us whether A, B or B, A, whatever you multiply, are they be multiplied? Are they be able to multiply or not? So we need to check that also. So first let's see A, B. Is A, B, is A, B means A into B, the multiplication possible or not? So minus 10, 1, 3, minus 2 and B is 6, minus 7. So if I write the order of A matrix, this is 2 cross 2 
एंड ऑर्डर ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स इज टू क्रॉस वन बिकॉज टू रोज एंड वन कॉलम सो कैन यू टेल मी दैट वेदर द मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज पॉसिबल और नॉट सो टू एंड टू एज दे बोथ आर सेम बिकॉज कॉलम ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट मैट्रिक्स एंड रो ऑफ द सेकेंड मैट्रिक्स आर सेम सो दे कैन बी मल्टीप्लाइड एंड अवर रिजल्टेंट आंसर दैट मीन्स द रिजल्टेंट मैट्रिक्स विल बी इन द फॉर्म टू क्रॉस वन ओके सो टू क्रॉस वन मीन्स इज इट टू क्रॉस वन बिकॉज टू रोज एंड जिस सिंगल कॉलम दैट मीन्स वी नीड टू फील ओनली टू एलिमेंट्स यूर ओके दिस पोजिशन इज वन वन एंड दिस पोजिशन इज टू वन इज इंट इट राइट बिकॉज वन वन एंड टू वन सो वन वन मीन्स फर्स्ट रो एंड फर्स्ट कॉलम ओके यू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ मैट्राइस एक्चुअली आई हैव जस्ट सो वन पैटर्न एंड आई जस्ट मेड देम एक्रोनिम ऑफ सी एम से इज मल्टीप्लाई एड टू रो इन कॉलम दिस आई हैव मेड अ फुल फॉर्म सी यू कैन रिमेंबर मल्टीप्लाई एड टू रो इन कॉलम दैट मीन्स रो इन कॉलम वी मल्टीप्लाई एंड देन एड सो दैट इज हाउ आई हैव मेड अ फुल फॉर्म ऑफ मैट्रिक्स इट्स शुड इट शुड बी एक्स इयर बट आई रिटर्न सी जस्ट फॉर द निमोनिक ओके so multiply add to row in column okay so that is what 1 1 no so first row and first column so minus 10 into 6 plus 1 into minus 7 isn't it right 2 1 so 2 and 1 okay so 3 into 6 plus minus 2 into minus 7 okay this is minus of 60 minus of 7 This is eighteen minus two minus seven will give you positive fourteen only. Okay, so the final answer will be minus sixty seven eighteen and fourteen will give you thirty two. So this is the answer. I hope now B A. So uh, B A, how you will see B A? See B matrix is of order two cross one, and A matrix is of order two cross two. As one is not equal to two, so B into A is not possible. Okay, because it is not satisfying the condition of multiplication. Hence, B A is not possible here. Okay, okay. I am taking fourteenth question now because thirteenth question uh, you are given with A and B. You have to find A B and B A and verify A B is equal to B A. First, you find A into B. Then You find b into a. Then they are asking a square in third question. See, what do you mean by a square? So if I am given with any of the matrix, and if I if they ask you a square, then don't think that every element will be square. You don't have to do that. A square means a into a. So you have to multiply that matrix with that same matrix. Okay, you multiply in such a way, and they ask a b square. So first you find b square and you multiply with a, you will get the a b square. Okay. So just give a try to this question. Okay. If you won't get, then please let me know. I will take that question in the next video. Okay. Now this is the fourteenth question I'm taking. We are given with if a is equal to such, then to prove that a cube is equal to a square is equal to a. You, if you can please remember one thing that whenever you have a matrix which says that its cube is equivalent to its square is equivalent to itself, then this property is called idempotent matrix. Then that matrix is called the idempotent matrix that we will study in higher classes. But you remember that whenever you are called idempotent matrix. Then we can say its cube will be equal to its square will be equal to its itself. Okay, so you just keep in mind this word. Now what? Put the values. Sine thirty is half. Cos sixty is also half. Tan forty five is one. Cot forty five is one. Cos ninety is zero. Sine ninety is one. Putting all the values, we got this matrix. If you are remembering, uh, isn't this matrix a identity one, right? Which is of two cross two order. 
so they are asking idiom uh, idiom potent matrix and this is identity matrix so can we relate that identity matrix has a idiom potent nature also okay so no problem no issues a first let us find a cube no let's first find a square okay then only uh, then it will help us to find a cube how i will tell you a square as i said a into a okay so 1 0 0 1 into 1 0 0 1 isn't it okay this is of order 2 cross 2 this is also of order 2 cross 2 as this 2 is equal to this 2 so the multiplication is possible and the answer will be in this 2 cross 2 order only so 2 cross 2 first element 1 1 so 1 1 okay so first row multiply add in row in column so 1 into 1 1 0 into 0 0 so 1 plus 0 then this position is 1 to position so 1 and 2 so 1 into 0 plus 0 into 1 okay so it will give you 0 plus 0 then this is 2 1 position so 2 and 1 so 0 into 1 0 plus 1 into 0 0 now this is what 2 2 position so 2 2 0 into 0 0 plus 1 into 1 1 so 0 plus 1 so finally you will get 1 plus 0 is 1 0 plus 0 0 0 1 so you got a square as the same matrix okay now how you will find a cube can we write a cube as a into a square all right okay so in place of a square you can put this one and in place of see here only i'm just making changes you need to find a cube which is a square into a as i said so in place of a square we see this we got as a square so it's written here and a also written here and the same criteria so you got a cube is equal to a square is equal to a so hence proved okay okay let's take 15th question we are given with a and b matrix we have to prove a b is equal to i okay where i is unit matrix or identity matrix okay so a into b we have to do so this is a and this is b the multiplication is absolutely possible because they are of same order see same order if you have if you are having then it is obviously they can be multiplied and in the same order we will get the answer okay so this is 2 cross 2 this is 2 cross 2 on multiplying them we will get the answer in 2 cross 2 okay so uh, how 2 cross 2 we will get the answer so for the first position c this we have to fill the position see i am drawing this line only to just explain you more clearly don't draw these lines in the exam okay that is only for the explanation that four elements are to be filled this is one one position this is one two this is two one and this is two two and this also i am writing because of the uh, just precise explanation okay otherwise you don't have to write all these things so one one so first row first column so cos theta into cos theta what is cos theta into cos theta that is cos square theta so i'm directly writing cos square theta so first row and first column so cos theta into cos theta then minus sin theta into minus sin theta minus sin theta into minus sin theta minus minus plus sin theta into sin theta will give you sin square theta and between of them you have to put plus sign okay then 1 2 1 first row second column so for first row and second column so cos theta into sin theta okay then minus of sin theta into cos theta so minus of sin theta into <coughs> cos theta i am removing this also along with this 2 1 so second row first column i already i all i have told you that you have to work in the first matrix always you have to work in row row and in the second matrix you have to work in column column and according to this number do 
टू वन मीन सेकेंड रो फर्स्ट कॉलम एंड मल्टीप्लाई द एलिमेंट एंड एड देम ओके सो साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा ओके प्लस कॉस थीटा माइनस साइन थीटा सो दिस प्लस विल बिकम माइनस ऑफ कॉस थीटा साइन थीटा एंड हियर सेकेंड रो सेकेंड कॉलम सो साइन थीटा इंटू साइन थीटा विल गिव यू साइन स्क्वे थीटा प्लस कॉस थीटा इंटू कॉस थीटा विल गिव यू कॉस स्क्वे थीटा नाउ वी नो द ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक आइडेंटिटी दैट साइन स्क्वे थीटा प्लस कॉस स्क्वे थीटा इज वन एंड हियर ऑल्सो साइन स्क्वे थीटा प्लस कॉस स्क्वे थीटा इज वन कैन यू सी साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा सो दे बोथ कैंसल डीच अदर वी गॉट जीरो सिमिलरली हियर ऑल्सो साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा and sin theta cos theta they both cancel each other we got zero so 1 0 0 which is a unit matrix of order 2 cross 2 so hence we have proved okay i hope this is clear to you this question is clear to you now uh, just see the 16th question as i can see you are given with three matrices a b c you have to find first a b then c so how you will find this first you find a into b okay so you go on and process for a into b you will get one answer okay now this answer you put c matrix okay and multiply them you will get so just do according to the instructions and in the second one they are asking a bracket b c is equal to a b brackets you have to prove this so you already have found ab into c so you can you don't have to find this rhs side you only have to find lhs and in this also first you find bc b into c then you multiply with a and a should be the first matrix and on multiplying these two that will be the second matrix okay just see in multiplication it is very necessary to understand the uh, prop that means whatever the alignment or we can say the proper order if they are writing a into b then you have to take a as the first matrix and b as the second matrix okay so in multiplication it is very important okay all right so up to 16th question please do we'll see the next from 17th question in the next video okay till that do practice okay uh, and uh, Okay thank you so much have a nice day bye bye take care